What's up everybody, Jordan here, I'm back with another review. In this review, I'm going to be uh, checking out some beard oils, beard butters, and beard wash from Artie's Man, and uh, kind of discussing my thoughts on them. Let's uh, get started. So let's talk about um, what I'm going to cover in this video. So company background, products available, scents available, and then my experience with, with the products, and then final conclusion and uh, verdict off the bat, um, in case anybody that just wants a quick verdict. I really like these products. The Artie's Man, the beard butter is definitely pretty thick. Um, a little little tacky, but overall it's pretty nourishing. Um, beard wash is really solid. The beard oil is really solid. Um, shout out to Artie's Man for uh, sending this stuff out to me um, to review. Yeah, so let's talk about Artie's Man first. Alrighty, so let's talk about Artie's Man. So they've been in the beard product review game for a few years now. Um, an artist man actually means complete man because they want to have like grooming products for the complete man to like completely take care of himself. Um, so they have like hair, body products, like beard products, obviously candles, all that kind of stuff. Um, and they they use high quality natural and organic ingredients, um, and they're all made in the USA. And every product goes through months of uh, testing. Next, let's talk about the uh, beard product available. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, um, they do have non-beard products available, but this video I'm going to focus on the beard products that they carry, um, because this is obviously a beard product review channel. Um, so they've got beard oil, butter, balm, wash, conditioner, mustache wax, combs, and brushes. Yeah, and then next, let's talk about the uh, scent lineup. Alright, <clears throat> so they've got a whole bunch of different scents, um, I've actually got them all here. Um, Orange Grove, Three Wood, IPA, Wise Men, another Three Wood, Winter's Chill, really good scent. Um, unscented, in case you want to uh, rock a uh, specific butter or balm, um, but you don't want any scent from the oil you're using. This is definitely the way to go. I have used this uh, recently. Um, yeah. So I do have two of every scent. Um, humidor, it's like a cigar type scent. Um, so yeah, it's, it's cherry, vanilla, and tobacco. And then Citrus Fire is very unique citrus spice formula. It's definitely uh, spicy, um, with like some orangey to it. And then, uh, yeah, so Citrus Fire and then Citrus Spice. Um, very similar, but Citrus spice is a little more uh, kind of smooth, I would say. And Bay Rum is old school barbershop with a, a gentle zing. Winter's chill, like I was saying, a really good scent. Peppermint, eucalyptus, and spruce. It's definitely a uh, really like invigorating scent. Um, Orange Grove is citrus top notes with an underlying woodsy base. That one right here. Yeah, you definitely get the orange with the woodsiness in the background for sure. Um, Black Coffee, this is one of my favorite scents and one of the longest lasting scents that I've used um, from Artie's Man. It's just a simple, just freshly brewed cup of black coffee. Really great scent. If you're gonna pick up any scent from Artie's Man, you gotta try Black Coffee, 100%. It's, I love it. Citrus, yeah, Citrus Spice is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, definitely very, like, spicy kind of fall type scent to it um, yeah and then humidor like I mentioned it's a cherry vanilla and uh, tobacco mountain air is the one that I have in the uh, in the butter as well and it's a blend of pine patchouli cedarwood and spearmint yeah you definitely get the woodsiness mixed with the, uh, the, the kind of like smooth type uh, kind of scents of the um, of the patchouli and the spearmint um, really good scent I really like it um, the lager is outdoors with top notes of spruce and sage, so definitely a very uh, woodsy type scent. Classic Gentleman Sandalwood is a uh, their premium blend of sandalwood. Um, and then Midnight Ride is black spicy licorice. It's, def it's not 
not my favorite scent, but it's pretty solid. Um, and then campfire, they say woodsy meets smoky. It smells exactly like being in the forest near a campfire. Yeah, and then so with that campfire, it's yeah, it smells identical to being like by a campfire. Um, I really like it just because I've I've had lots of experience like working at summer camp and spending a lot of time around campfires, and so I really like it. And then, yeah, unscented, no additional scenting. Um, IPA is infused with Hungarian hops. Um, this uh, unique beard oil smells amazing. If you love the scent of a hoppy beer, you'll love this one. Yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. Yeah, so IPA. Definitely kind of a, a more like alcoholic type smell. It's not my favorite. Um, like kind of alcohol type smell. Um, it's if you like if you like hops and like the beer kind of smell, you'll like this. Um, and then E4 is the original Ardia scent, so it's an earthy citrus. And then uh, Respiration is a cologne scent with oud, tonka bean, and lavender. Uh, that's a really good one as well. Three Wood is another cologne scent with Inoki wood, oud, and neroli. I really like that one. Um, Spice Latte is a warm vanilla latte, one of my other favorite scents. Um, Tinderbox is Tobacco and Vanilla, another really good one. Um, and then Wise Men is Frankincense and Myrrh. I actually made my own good oil in uh, a very similar scent to that um, recently. Definitely a really good scent. Um, yeah, so next let's talk about the uh, kind of pricing and then my experience with uh, RDS Men's products. Alrighty, let's uh, talk about the beard oil first. So a full size bottle is gonna cost you $14.95 um, US. Sample size is gonna be $20 for five, $35 for 10, or $60 for all 20 cents, um, like I have here. Long lasting scents, uh, generally, and they're definitely noticeable, but not none of them are overpowering. Really great feeling beard. The Artist Man is definitely known for thicker oils, um, but they're not too thick for my beard. And like, this is the, uh, I would say the extent of the thickness that I would go with. Um, anything thicker than this just kind of feels weird in my beard and I don't really like it. Um, but yeah, Artie's man, really great oils. Um, and the ingredients are castor seed, sunflower seed oil, hoba, shea seed oil, argan oil, marula seed oil, baobab oil, uh, vitamin E, acetate, and then essential oils. And they're uh, certified organic. Yeah, really good beard, beard oil overall. Highly recommend them. Next, let's talk about the uh, beard butter. Let's talk about the uh, beard butters next. So, $25 US, uh, four ounce containers, so butter for days. Um, and it's a poured butter, and when I first got this, I noticed that it had more hold than I was expecting. Um, this is one of them that I haven't used yet, just because I've been testing so many butters recently. But this is the second butter that I ever tried after um, Urban Beards. So that's how much I've used so far. Um, yeah, I like it. It's not my favorite favorite butter. It's a little more has a little more hold than uh, I was expecting uh, after like my last uh, beard butter, the first one I tried from uh, Urban Beards, which is a very whipped, very, like very light butter. Um, yeah, super nourishing. Feels nice and beard. Um, and the scent that I have is Mountain Air, which I mentioned. It's patchouli, cedarwood, cypress, and spearmint. Pretty solid butter overall. Um, definitely worth uh, checking out um, if you like some hold in your butters without kind of being. A, uh, a balm and yeah next let's talk about the uh, beard wash alrighty let's talk about the artist man beard wash so I've got citrus spice scent um, I'll just line up get this uh, get scent. yeah really nice scent um, so the ingredients are coconut oil, potassium, hydroxide, olive oil, glycerin, sunflower oil, gower gum, aloe vera, juice extract, rosemary extract, shea butter, citric acid, essential oils, and then organic ingredients. Um, so lathers nicely for sure. Uh, washes up, washes up my beard nicely without leaving it feeling dry or like overly stripped. Um, these uh, these bottles look really really cool. Um, it's a four ounce bottle. Yeah, really solid beard wash overall. Let's uh, kind of wrap this video up with uh, my conclusions. All right, so let's uh, wrap this up. So really solid products overall. Um, awesome scents, great feeling beard. Reasonable prices, the packaging is really cool. Um, and then there's a few uh, discount codes floating around. I know Dave from Bearded Motivation has one, Forever 15. Save uh, 15% on all Artie's Man products. Um, 
yeah, I really recommend these products. Um, if you're looking for another company to try out, um, yeah, big shout out to Artist Man for uh, sending these products over. Uh, definitely going to be making another order from Artist Man at some point this year. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and comment down below if you've tried Artist Man or if you want to try Artist Man. Um, let me know your experience if you tried them and if you haven't, what products you want to try. Yeah, thanks for uh, watching. I'll be back with more soon. Peace out.